to try to slow ease down or or C could try to plan on just dominating the mid lane. They could really try to work a lot of ganks on Star Sapphire. Okay, we have Atomic Wonder Woman is actually behind Nightmare Batman. So they could potentially try to make something happen here. Yeah, uh, Dak is coming up with Doomsday, but he's not quite a great decision. Here's the Frost Breath, gets a enough? little bit of a slow on. Oh, Doomsday's on the way too. Doomsday can actually launch him into the turret if he wants to. A bit of a beta of swords. Can he do it? Yes, he oh. can. What a perfect move there from Doomsday. That's exactly what he was looking for. And I think that's exactly why Nightmare Batman stayed around as long as he did. He was trying to bait Superman towards the turret. Doomsday in the perfect spot, the perfect moment. And we see how strong that, that thrust ability is, for lack of a better term. Yeah, Doomsday is, is... Oh, but there's a teleport in from Superman. Doomsday, could he be what? overextending? No, he's, he's going to get out of there. Or is it cancel I don't teleport? Think, yeah, Excuse he, me. Canceled he canceled it. Yeah, that would have been an interesting decision indeed. All right, so first blood going to Brawl. So a good start for them so far. Doomsday is very far along in the, in the jungle over there. And he's, he's going to get... Ooh. No, so close. He would have had it, but that Frost Breath Can rooted Superman him Doomsday here? No. No, Night Too back. risky, yeah, yeah. Night Bat was there. And he knew Nightbat was in the yeah, area. Somewhat past this next round. Wow. So, you know, uh, that top lane is definitely going towards Brawl. And if anyone's seen enough Brawl games, they know that so many times it's won by ease is just continual pressure on a top lane, forcing a lot of members of the other team to really try to find a way to react and deal with them. And uh, that's going to be a, a focal point that C has to find a way to, to deal with. Because if they can't, it's going to be rough. Um, if they're stuck dealing with ease the whole time, they're not stopping Cripsy. And Cripsy did get his pick of Green Arrow. We haven't really looked at his bottom lane too much, but Cripsy oh. is, is a Green Arrow main. Wonder Woman is very beefy. She should get, her, uh, get out just fine. Uh, clever little tactic there, trying to stay in the yeah. stealth pad and, and take her off guard. So getting a lot of damage done, but I don't think they were necessarily expecting a kill anyway. But nice threatening presence. Oh, ease nice. ease is spotted. He's got his ease. ultimate. Level 4 Atomic Wonder Woman. Be careful though, Superman's kind of lurking in the area, coming down to try to help. Could be a three versus three situation here. As we have Doomsday, Star Sapphire, and Nightmare Batman in the area with Joker, Atomic Wonder Woman, and Superman, but they're just gonna split away and go to their respective lanes. Yeah, and uh, you know, Nightmare Batman man. leaving, because of course he didn't want to push right to the, the turret quite now. Kyle's been able to, to try to catch back up a bit. He's still behind, but not too bad, and he's getting some good trades off. Minor skirmish. Nightmare Batman does have a level advantage on Superman. It yeah. has his ultimate available. Always got to be aware of that. Will grapple you into place and deal lots of damage. His ultimate is actually really nice with Doomsday as well because uh, if he can get you a little bit low, he can use his ultimate to hold you in place, do more damage to you, and Doomsday, while held in place, can set himself up to charge you as soon as that ultimate is, is of course, not. Atomic Wonder Woman is there. Superman's going to try to bait Atomic Wonder Woman, leaping in, trying to get that damage done, but he's going to be just fine. Meanwhile, at the bottom. Doomsday is lurking in the area. Oh, I think he's just getting yeah. that EMP, yep. Yeah. Oh, is, is he gonna do something from there? He's thinking about I it. I think the drones hide. are pushed far enough. A green, a green Arrow's trying to bait a little bit, oh, I think. I think he wants to wait till these drones are dead, then he can sneak into the stealth pad without being ah, noticed. And then true. when they push back, perhaps he can set yep. up a nice ambush. There's the ping. Is he gonna go that's, there? that's a complicated maneuver, though. Was it worth it? Because there's a lot of standing around. Yeah. Um, we'll see, though. It could pay off. Because like, he's just standing there, not, not necessarily... Yeah. Getting experience and whatnot. He has an EMP, though. Um, so, dive the turret, potentially. So, I wonder if they're aware of this. Well, I don't know about Mecha Superman going oh. in there. I think that kind of gives away the well, intentions. They don't know Doomsday's there, though. Can they just throw something in there and see? Well, they they wouldn't... I don't think they'd, they would hit him, but they wouldn't... Uh, look, they're, look how cautious they're playing. Yeah. I think they suspect. Yeah, they do. At the very least. What's Doomsday going to do here? Oh, Joker's there, too, now. Is it? No, sorry. Joker's on the team. Okay, well, Doomsday, you've set up this hype. What are we going to do with it? Oh. No. <laughs> so they're looking for that. I like the, I like the idea, trying to throw yeah. down the, the, the fissure, wall, yeah. the wall. And then Doomsday would move. Yep, yeah. I like that idea. I like that thought. But Team C, well aware of the cheeky shenanigans that Brawl generally has in store. Going to avoid... Uh, bad situations. EMP going to be thrown onto the Raider here. Going to go for this. Now, everyone's going to start converging on this location. Here's an, a teleport in from Atomic Wonder Woman. Mecha Superman is going to be a little bit vulnerable here. Four versus one onto him. He's getting very low in health. Actually, he is very, very beefy. Superman going to be ultimating in there. 
and Mecha Superman's gonna be just fine. No one gone from either team. It looks like a timer corner getting very low. Great ultimate there from Mecha Wonder Woman. And look at this brawl losing two just like that. Mecha Superman and Star Sapphire getting taken out. That's a great team fight for Team C. The Raider did go to Brawl though, I think. I think Brawl got the kill on it, but uh the pickup of the deployable oh. did go to C. So you know, Brawl got credits from it, but C got a couple of kills, and they got to use that, uh, to use the deployable. Interesting. Pretty close game. Yeah. Two kills, two deaths. Uh, seven assists to one, though, in favor of Team C, which is pretty darn cool. 13.3k uh, credits to the 12.2k credits in favor of Brawl. So overall, Brawl with a minor advantage. Nightmare Batman, be careful! Superman is on your toes. I think his ultimate is still on cooldown. Yeah, I think he probably used that to initiate against Nightmare Batman. Some nice well, traits, though. Good attempt. Good try. Enough. Joker, trying to be annoying towards Star Sapphire there in the middle of the map. You know, while Brawl does have that credit advantage, the vision advantage provided from that surveillance tower can't be overlooked. So it's, I, I think you could almost say, is that worth a thousand credits? I, I don't know if it is or not, but it's definitely both teams have their respective advantages. Even match so far. Expected nothing less here from best of three monthly final. Thousand bucks on the line. Team Brawl, pretty much known for winning everything, Infinite Crisis. Can it's Team C, be known for. yeah sure, can Team C disrupt that trend? That's my question. If I was gonna be known for something, I think winning everything. Yeah. Not a, not a bad thing to be known for. Not at all. Okay. Some attacks on the drones in the jungle, very natural here. Oh, Doomsday is kinda lurking in that area, but DD Doomsday is. is right near Joker. Is anything gonna happen there? Nope, staying away from each other for now. Setting up vision. However, Tonic Wonder Woman looks like she might try to make a move on Nightmare Batman at the top. Oh, he's in kind work. of a vulnerable spot. They both have their ultimates, I think. Will they use it? Uh, they almost have their ultimates. Trying to get a Nightmare cool Batman is going to sneak into the turret. Oh. This is where I would expect Doomsday to come in from the back and try to charge him on into the turret, but he's not in the area just yet. Star Sapphire going to be dueling with Joker in the middle of the map a little bit. She should be able to get out without too much trouble, still at half health. Meanwhile, Nightmare oh. Batman... Kind of baiting a little bit. He is, but... Oh, oh, getting the ultimate. Here comes Doomsday. I think Atomic Wonder Woman is in trouble. She's going to leap out of there. Superman using the ultimate. Doomsday going to charge into him. Atomic Wonder Woman coming back. All these players so low in health. Looks like it's going to be a one-for-one -one trade at the end of the day. Doomsday versus Superman. One versus one. Superman going to run away. Doomsday shouldn't be able to close that out, I don't think, unless you can get in front and charge him back. Pathetic. Pathetic. Says Doomsday. Actually, into the wall goes Hold Superman. Hold on, Superman. Overextending big time there, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think he... Uh, he didn't want that. That was... I don't understand. He didn't anticipate getting knocked into the wall. If he wasn't knocked into the wall with the drone damage and, and the fact he would have been stunned, he would have been fine. But... Uh, Nicely played by Doomsday. Yeah, he wasn't anticipating that. Doomsday is at three kills, zero deaths so far. MVP so far, I'd say. Uh, however, Nightmare Batman has a credit advantage. Well, that's what Ease does. Yeah. When you throw Ease in a lane, he just... He just gets money. Nice. <laughs> it's hard to really... Do uh, his job, then. One of the main reasons that... Uh, oh, actually, there's a lasso hit. And an ultimate. Whoa! Green Arrow barely getting out alive. Using both stolen powers to just get that extra additional life gain from invulnerability and, and heal wave. Okay. Let's see. Trying to shot on the Wonder Woman. Nicely done. Still retaining the momentum in the lane. So for those of you guys who don't know why Ease always has so much more money, one of the things he does is that he he always pushes the lane, he, he bullies his opponent, and then once he has the lane pushed, he'll drop down and steal both their uh. jungle camp and his own. And you know, I mean, obviously this time he's not gonna get their jungle camp because Atomic Wonder Woman's there, but uh, the, the continual accumulation of those additional credits from those camps can really add up if you can dominate that whole top area uh, effectively. Doomsday in the area at the bottom, of course, Mecha Superman's gonna be looking for that Fisher so that that combo can happen, but for now, looks like they're just gonna try to get some turret damage. Actually, gonna be pursuing. No. Nope. Mecha Wonder Woman. Gotta being be very careful. careful. There's not many drones left. No, there's not. A meteor there from Joker was trying to clear the drones before they anticipated it. Get some extra turret damage. Okay, we got the ongoing battle between Superman and Nightmare Batman having the top first objective gonna be secured here by Brawl, getting that turret at the bottom, very nicely done. I love how active Doomsday is across the map, helping with lanes, getting his kills in the jungle, and uh, obviously securing all the kills that he's had so far, doing a lot for Team Brawl. Well, the Raider is about to be up, and with that bottom turret down, it's additional credit advantage to Brawl. 
It's gonna be a little bit tricky for C to contest that. I mean, Wonder Woman uh, will have her ultimate up in a few seconds. That, of course, is very key, along with the Tempest ultimate, which will take a bit longer to get. Uh, but what allowed them to win that last engagement on the Raider was really just uh, the Mecha Wonder Woman ultimate, and they saw a few more seconds to wait for that. But we have to look to see Ooh. if that can be key here as well. Four members of Team C here getting the lasso on the Mecha Superman. That's not going to do much, though. Ooh. Well, barely missing there. Yeah. Very nicely placed. Now it's four versus five. Yeah, and Ease right uh, does now. not have teleport up as well. So I remember, he's going to yeah. run down. Diana, he's going to be sprinting no down to the bottom to help out. We're trying to position around that. Raider, there's an ultimate from Superman charging in, trying to target down Green Arrow. There's a lasso just barely missing. Joker throwing a present. That's missing as well. It looks like Doomsday getting very low on health, and he is going to get uh, taken out. No one gone yet from Team C's. Joker going to be targeted down. A nice Fisher going to limit his activity. Mecha. Wonder Woman with a great ultimate, though, getting a lot of damage done. And this is going to be a three-for-one trade, it looks like. Oh, hold on. Nightmare Batman coming in as well. Star Sapphire trying to even up the, even up the score here. Superman taking out. So it's going to be even uh, even at the end of the day. Three for three. But very exciting. Wow, what a close match. But it's actually Brawl who still has two full life champions. Now, can they actually go and take this well, raider? Actually, can, can, can they, Kythus can even get away? The slow from the Batarang. That was clever. Oh, uh, but it, of course it did reveal where the surveillance uh, tower was. Oh! Yeah, wow, nice one. So, very nicely done. Um, now, choosing not to go for this, this surveillance tower, of course, uh, knowing there's probably teleports up, they want to be stuck on the wrong side of this wall and isolated, but that was, I think, a definitely an advantage for, for a brawl. brawl. Yeah. yeah. Uh, at the end of the day, they got one extra kill out of it, and they have position on this raider, which is incredibly important. Those credits. Getting that vision. Yeah, nice, nice pickup there. In fact, uh oh, they could be a little careful up here. Ouch. Well, he can fish it right now. That's what he's gonna do. Yeah. Trying to Superman, but he's the beefiest of the bunch. Oh, I think I you want to try to get Joker or Atomic Wonder Woman here. A lot of, a lot of damage being traded. No convincing engagements. Mecha Superman getting very low in health. And Team C able to close him out. Doomsday coming forward. He wants revenge. Targeting down Superman there at the top. He's going to be eclipsed. Doomsday still very much alive. He's behind four of those from Team C. And he's going to get taken out. So two for one right now in favor of Team C. That's what they want. There's the last one. A Nightmare Batman. Can they close it out? Yes, they will. No, they won't. Yes, they will. No, they won't. Barely getting alive. He has like one HP left or something. There was that bonds of love there from JBJ, just, you know, keeping uh, the, the, the C members at bay to allow oh, this game. Uh, is that Atomic Wonder Woman? Yeah, yeah they, they found out, out where that, that uh, surveillance tower is. I don't know if they oh, can... Oh, nice shot. Joker. Ooh, Careful green arrow, though. Lasso yeah. could happen over there. It could. Kyphus was looking for it. Okay. So, Brawl of 26.6k to 22.2k, playing a nice game so far. Nine kills to eight kills. Still a very even game overall. 23 assists to 10, though. That's what I like to see. Love that assist count means the team is working together. Lots of damage being done. Very efficient play from Team C so far. Still anyone's game at the end of the day. Uh, as far as turrets are concerned, top and bottom turrets are down from Team C. They're outer turrets, I should say. And all the turrets are still alive, I think, from Brawl. So that's certainly going to be an advantage uh, for Brawl at this point in the game. So if I, had a, if I had a gander, I'd say Brawl is certainly ahead. Yeah, that's the majority of their actual credit advantage is from those objectives, the turrets and the raiders. They've been winning consistently around, around those. What do you think about the team comps so far as we've seen these, these fights kind of develop? I think it's really interesting. I think, you know, of course, there's that kind of wombo combo that C has with Wonder Woman, Mecha Wonder Woman, and, and Joker. But Brawl seems to just have more scrappy champions, where it's a scrappy engagement. They're the ones who are able to pull out kills. You know, Doomsday... Uh, and, and Nightmare Batman can really oh. take down targets. Wonder Woman and Joker in the area here, but Cancel I don't teleport. think they... They don't want a 4v2. Joker! They wouldn't protect Fisher. their vision, though. Well, there's a lasso. A teleport coming in from... Looks like that's Atomic. Wonder Woman trying to target down Mecha Superman. Star Sapphire a little bit vulnerable, gonna be running away. And no one, no one falling, no one yeah. falling, no one falling. A lot of ultimates burned actually from both sides there, but C was able to keep that, that uh, surveillance tower alive, which is exactly what they wanted. They want to maintain that vision. Such an important element in any MOBA is, is the vision and the map control. And E's still with a crazy credit advantage over everyone. Uh, over 7,600 on yeah. the credits and still focusing on that top lane. Really cool to see. His teammates remaining alive. Don't really need him at this point in time. 
he's gonna, he can easily sneak in and, and help out if he wants. Yeah, all he's gonna do is he's just gonna keep putting pressure in his top lane, and and Kyle's gonna have a. I mean, Kyle's gonna have to basically babysit and sit under turrets because if he pushes out, he can't win a duel against you know against Ezna at this point. Okay, lots of posturing on the map here. No real focus on any of these lanes. Looks like the middle lane might be the focus right now. Everyone's kind of trying to just stay near that raider position. I think just keep control of that area. Yeah, both teams know where the oh, Shvedis towers are. Stars up. Wow, that turret's very low too. That middle turret. Indeed. Um, however, well, looks like there's gonna be a 1v1 at the top. Superman versus Nightmare Batman. Who's gonna come out on top? It looks like Superman's gonna have to retreat to his turret. That's ease. Still just a lot of damage being traded. These guys are good though. You, you can kind of tell. Definitely good. And in fact, actually, are they trying to corner ease here? Oh, he suspects no. it though. He's gonna kind of trundle yeah. on out. Okay, so that middle turret is getting very low. It's a situation where we're, once you take that out, you can try to make a team fight happen if the other team isn't careful, but the numbers right now in favor of C in the middle. If, if they really want, they could push five in the middle right now, but they're not, thinking about not it. going for it just yet, because then it'd be five versus three. It's actually five versus two at this point. Yeah, but it's like... It's curious because they're jumble. they're losing farm in the lanes when they when they pull you know and focus on one lane. So they kind of want to make something happen in that lane they're focusing on. But instead, it looks like they they backed up and said they don't want to take any risks when the raider is is coming up very soon. Yep. And I think this is their stand to try to. They're a little bit behind uh -oh. brawl. Joker. Is he his ultimate? I think he used it on Superman earlier, maybe. Uh, he still has it. He oh, just, okay. I think there was enough support there for him to want to. Because Joker's a great point. guy to take out of the. Oh, yeah. Take out of the fight early on. Okay, a lot of posturing around Raider here. Mecha Superman looking for that Fisher, looking to place that wall. Of course, Doomsday is there. Ready to charge into whoever overextends. Wonder Woman sprinting in. There's a last one to Mecha Superman. Not necessarily the person you want to target. I don't think Superman actually going to be ultimating into Nightmare Batman. There's the ultimate from Mecha Wonder Woman. Not the greatest ultimate, though. Not really hitting anyone. A lasso happening from Wonder Woman. Not going to connect. Meanwhile, Nightmare Batman stuck in the back. No one gone just yet. Nightmare Batman a little bit vulnerable, but he's going to get away just fine. Mecha Superman actually being taken out there by Team C. So getting the 1 for 0 advantage, and they have position around the Raider, which is so important. They're deal. healing back all up, too. You yeah. see this, uh, this tier 2 health. That was a great level. team fight for Team See. It was. And I don't see how Brawl can engage. Actually, no. two gone from Brawl. I think, yeah, Nightmare Batman yeah. was taken out somehow. Maybe uh, some stray AoE finished him off or, or something Maybe like that. Maybe a drone got the heroic kill. Yeah. So, that was a great sequence of events for Team C. They're, they're kind of bringing that credit advantage a little bit closer. It's now 30k to 28.8k. And they have the kill advantage and the assist advantage. Big time. It's Lasso. Just a, a friendly Probably lasso, annoyed. I think. Yeah. Like, Hi, I can do will. that. Kind of a good feeling. At the bottom, though, looks like there is a, a bit of pursuit onto Green Arrow. Where's he going? Oh, he's trying to stay underneath the turret. Nightmare Batman trying to help out as well. A very risky play here from Team C. There's the EMP, though, trying to limit the effectiveness of that turret. Green Arrow taken out. Nightmare Batman is now alone, and he's not going to be able to get a kill. Another great, great fight from Team C. Able to get one kill for none. Nightmare Batman very low as well. Yeah, that was really, really well played. They were able to get in there, get the kill, get out all throughout the uh, the damage of the turret. Look at this. Wonder Woman's alerting here. Kythus yeah, is a trap. Lasso. Look out for the lasso. On oh, Nightmare Batman, actually. Could, could be yeah. really good. That might be even a kill if they were able to follow it up with like a punchy. And, uh, Looks like they're all retreating, though. Playing it safe. Probably safe than sorry. Respect that Discretion, the better part of Valor. And, and still actually closing that credit gap even more no. after that kill. Okay, yeah, they still have that surveillance tower on ongoing pro. They haven't decided to utilize it quite yet. Um, waiting until they they know exactly where they want to place it. Oh, there it's gonna go up up in the uh, top area. Oh, actually they could lose this servant tower though. That's not what they want to have. But I will teleport Whoa. to keep it alive. There's a lasso miss. Who's that? Uh, that was Kythus going in on ease, but. Okay, a bit of a fight happening here. Nightmare Batman getting out of there as fast as he can. There's five members from Team Brawl there or Team C, so you don't want to mess with that. As Nightmare Batman, every champion is alive. Every champion is relatively in the area. Superman get a retreat back to protect his turret there at the top. Looks like Atomic Wonder Woman going in that direction as well. Clearing out some drones in the jungle. Getting more credits. And Brawl was able to take down that surveillance tower throughout that. So that was a kind of a nice oh, win. Cool. They were able That's to... Super good. Yeah, to snag that. Well, let's see. Throws Ooh. a Fisher. In, in turret range, though, so not going to be trying to go through with that. Five members of Team Brawl here in the middle. Looking for an engagement. 
Gonna try to take this turret. Mecha Superman actually coming all the way around. They're gonna target down Mecha Wonder Woman and she is gonna get taken out. Another, I can't even tell what it is. It looks like that was Nightmare Batman coming in there and Star Sapphire actually taking out two for two. Actually three for two in favor of Team C taking out three members from Team Brawl. Mecha Superman is vulnerable and that's a four for two trade engagement for Team C. They're looking good and taking the credit advantage too. 34.4K to 33.3K. This is a pretty good game so far, man. It's very even. And Team C as the quote-unquote underdog, showing that they came to play. Taking out that middle turret too. Yeah, it was absolutely huge there. It was Kythus with the Wonder Woman ultimate under the turret. Uh, it basically ensured oh. that Brawl just took so much damage from the turret. And then while the rest, even the Wonder Woman went down, the rest of C was able to come under and just uh, close out that team fight. Boom. They have a turn of their own to extend their lead. Nicely done. Nicely, nicely done. Oh, they, they know this is here too. They spotted it earlier in the game. I'm sure they're gonna go and yeah. Yep. Deal with that quite quickly now. Nice. Okay. Now taking a 3k credit advantage. 15 kills, 2, 11. I think they're playing really well as a team. They're just making sure they're in the right positions at all time. Brawl tried to force that one a bit because they didn't have an EP. And they really tried to dive into her without one. A very yeah, big risk. Um, I mean, C's doing the same thing here, but they know that that Brawl was still kind of getting back out on the map, so yep. they felt safe doing that. So, got two turrets after that pretty convincing team fight win. Mecha Wonder Woman. She does to not want to duel E's. I mean, regardless of all that last fight went, E's is still, you know, the, the biggest dog out, out here. Is he's the richest champion in, in the game. He's got a nice collection of artifacts. He has Terminate, so he can win duels really well. He has some good damage. But then he's realized, okay, He's going to be one of the main initiators, so we should build Tanky as well, going for the Sudasaur or Sudasaurus and the uh, Lobos chain. chain. All right, Mecha Superman, a little bit on his own here. One woman in the area. Uh, lasso could happen. Well, good. Is oh, there it goes. Lasso. Any ultimate? I wonder if you ultimate there to keep him close. Yeah, I think she was thinking about it. I think she could have gotten a kill if she had. Because Superman and Atomic went over there. It's three versus one. They were just a little scared of where the other Brawl members were, perhaps. But they actually had good vision. I, th I think they, they probably could have made it happen there. I'm a little, a little surprised they, were, they weren't as opportunistic as perhaps they could have been. Now, right, Batman still pushing the top. No surprise there. Superman in the area trying to keep that turret alive. It's getting decently low, below half health, nearing a third health. So Nightmare Batman definitely doing a great job continuing his farming, getting those credits up, up to 9450, which is the absolute advantage. Next up is Joker at 91-31. And that's actually going to be a scary Joker. Joker is such a strong presence in a, in a team fight that... Speaking of team fights. Yeah. It's five in the middle, though. So it's five versus five, but... Team C is a little bit more spread out. There's an ultimate from Wonder Woman, and look at that! Wow! Star Sapphire getting killed incredibly fast now. It's going to be a five versus four situation. Brawl should be running. Doomsday gone. Another team fight going heavily in favor of Team C, and they're not done. Looks like Nightmare Batman going to be the next to be targeted. Green Arrow getting very low in health as well. Can they close this out? Mecha Superman getting very low, and it looks like Nightmare Batman is indeed taking out. It's a three for zero trade. A great team fight once again from Team C. And that all started with the lasso from Wonder Woman. The ultimate, and I think the Mecha Wonder Woman ultimate was pretty nicely timed as well. Yeah, it, it was interesting. Even though it only got two members, it pushed the rest of the team back. So they got those two free kills while Brawl had to kind of sit there and watch your teammates just get annihilated. And it's it's looking, I mean, he's going to get a damper out of this. I'm pretty sure. He's still have about 15 seconds nice. before Five the rest of Brawl gets two. here. Uh, yeah. Maybe some fancy fish. Actually, oh, oh. Green Arrow getting last. So Team C playing so confident right now. A great kill. Only Mecha Superman remains. And now we're at a 43.3K to 36.6K advantage. Some people are about to turn off the stream and say, oh my gosh, Team C is one. But remember, this is Brawl. Actually. Well. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? There Axel they go. Toss, just stop talking, Axel Toss. Brawl has made the comebacks before, but that game, they weren't Indeed feeling surrender. it. surrender. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Um, what a game there. Uh, <laughs> that was a fun game. I feel like if you let C get Superman and an Atomic Wonder Woman, that combo is just incredibly powerful. Um, and you know, this game, it, they actually weren't even winning the top lane, but they just took it in every other lane. And yeah. it was Kythus with Wonder Woman Prime who really made so many I big I agree. Plays. I agree. That's huge. If she can land a lasso at a good moment, yeah, that can pull the team fight in your favor big time. And I think that's pretty much what happened. She was able to hit pretty much all of her lassos mixed in some ultimates in there too to bring everyone close and once you get that first kill 
with ease, like in the first five seconds of the team fight, then it's like a five versus four situation where the other team is wondering, do we retreat? Do we engage? Do we try to avenge our teammate? And then there's confusion there. And then from the beginning, you're just in a really good situation. So I agree. I think Wonder Woman played a great game. She did. Um, uh, perhaps we'll see Broadband, Wonder Woman, or East pick her earlier. Uh, well, she was down to the last pick. No one picked her until the very last pick of the game and, and perhaps the most instrumental champion uh, in C's victory that game. But it is a best of three. Brawl best of three. has won every major IC tournament in North America to date. Will this be the first they don't win? Could be. Um, Team C with a one game to zero advantage. Again, this is a best of three in the monthly final. Go for Infinite Crisis thousand dollars at stake um of course leading into the season one finals next week team c that could be huge for them if they if they beat brawl here confidence level um obviously this is great practice team wise it's the best practice you're going to get playing against other pro teams in infinite crisis so i'm impressed with team c and especially how they played that game one so we'll have to see if they can continue that momentum into game two we'll have to see how the bands change how the teams change but don't count out brawl certainly no, I mean, there. If, if you remember back to the very first monthly final, they lost every single game one <laughs> and then went back and would win, win the rest and, yeah, in a row. So I'm not sure if they're too worried about it as uh, just kind of their uh, their go-to method of, of giving up that, uh, that first game and then, then making the comebacks. But we'll see. I mean, Team C has looked incredible uh, today, uh, particularly games one and three against Surreal. This last game against Brawl, it looked like Brawl was getting ahead early on. And then uh, there is that one fight where Brawl kind of just got a little over eager, dove in a little bit against a turret, and Kyphus had an um, amazing ultimate there. That even though it took both Kyphus and Mechwoman out, they were all so hurt that uh, the rest, the rest of the members, could quite quite quickly converge uh, to to turn things around again. Yeah, I feel like definitely a bit more synergy from Team C's side of things. I love the ideas that uh, that Brawl was going for, trying to combine. Uh, Mecha Superman and Doomsday, there's a lot of elements there that work together pretty nicely. Obviously with the Fisher and the, the Doomsday charge, that can hurt a lot of people in the game of Infinite Crisis. But they weren't really able to make that work as much as they probably have before, in a sense. Yeah. And Team C was making all the right decisions and kind of knowing that was coming. Like a, a moment that kind of sticks out to me is, is the beginning of that last game where Doomsday was at the bottom. He was just chilling for about 60 seconds there trying to look for an opening and... Team C just kind of knew it was coming and kind of stayed out of the range of the Fisher, stayed out of range of Doomsday, and then nothing was able to happen there. And that might have been a bit of a micro microcosm of how the game went as a whole, where Team C was kind of expecting the strategy type from Team Brawl. They were able to turn it around and actually throw it right back at him, hit a couple lassos, and then it all snowballs from there. If you hit those lassos and get those Wonder 